Hey guys, it's Kezia here and I am so thankful to be here at DKT TV. They invited me and if you guys know me from my channel, Curly Kezi, thank you and subscribe to this channel and if you don't know me subscribe to my channel so i hope you enjoy this video and if you do so give it a thumbs up and if you don't like it give it a thumbs up anyways because you know just why not so thank you so much i hope you enjoy bye okay so this is kevin delavo i am behind the scenes behind the camera this is normally where we'll be asking questions to our dads and their daughters or dads and their sons and right now we have parnell moret who's the CEO and co-founder of Daddy Knows 2 and has beautiful Kezia Moret here. His daughter, who I can tell you for myself, watching these two grow, not just her grow up, but watching both of them grow together has been phenomenal. So, Miss Kezia Moret, how are you today? I'm great. I just came back from school, so you know. Woo! All right, school. And, and Mr. Moret, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you guys for having us on the show today. Perfect, perfect. Now, since you brought up school, how is everything going to school? It's good. It's the end of the year. Are you ready for the, for the summertime? Yes, I have been preparing for months now. You've been preparing for the summertime. Okay, so what do you what do you want to do for the summer? What'll be a cool thing to do? Something that maybe you haven't been able to do through the school year? What's something that you're looking forward to doing in the summer? The main thing I haven't been able to do was sleep. <laughs> so I'll be doing that a lot. Okay. And um, a kid that needs her rest. Go ahead. <laughs> And obviously I'll be on my phone posting videos on YouTube. And maybe I can go traveling because I want to, I haven't been on a plane since a long time, so. Okay, I, I can understand that. But wait, I plan to be bugging her in the summer and all in her ears. Uh oh. So that's daddy's, you know, yeah. Does that, does that, does he bug you a lot? Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm doing my job. Exactly. Is that a good bug or a bad bug? Is this an aggravating bug? Like, yes, you? mainly. Okay, but you know what? That's his job. Good job, Dad. Woohoo! You, you get a thumbs up from yeah, me. Yeah, you the know, I is. actually try to be in both areas. This is like, you know, like, oh my goodness. So I just, you know, hey, this your daddy. What grade are you in now, Kezia? I'm in sixth grade. Six. Oh man, that's a that's a big. So next year is seventh grade for you. Yes. That's like middle school. Is it, is it considered middle school now? Yeah, it's already considered middle school. After you get fifth grade, then sixth grade is beginning middle school. And okay. then eighth grade is the end. So next year will be high school. All right. You're right, you're right in the middle. That's pretty good. How are your grades? They're good. A's and B's. No C's at all. Oh, no. yeah. C's are not permitted here, buddy. No, no, no. That's okay. average. We are, be, uh, we, are, we are above. That's right. See? No? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's talk about your hobbies. You mentioned about going traveling uh, this summer, something that you may want to do. What else do you like to do? Because I've checked out some of your pictures on Facebook, on social media that your dad uh, posts. And what are some of the things that you like to do when you two guys are together, hobby-wise? Um, well, I like to, we usually go to the movies to see good movies. Yesterday, I saw a movie at home and usually we would go to the movie theater but last time i saw it at home mm -hmm. and we like to go to like parks like jungle island rapids which i actually love and other than that i'll just be sitting at home probably with him no duh <laughs> watching <laughs> tv or making music videos and youtube videos okay i'm going to show you a picture and uh, speaking of hobbies, you guys were out, and I want you to tell me what uh, was going on here on this picture, and uh, were you scared at all? Ah! <laughs> Great picture. <laughs> so, because that's one of the pictures that's up on our Daddy Knows Two app, and it's on our social media, and every time I see the picture, I am like, wow, she is adventurous, just like I know Parnell to be. What did you think about that? What are you doing in that picture? Well, we were kayaking, 
and um, I don't remember where, but my dad was sitting in the back and I was sitting in the front. And then so we had the camera, so I just took a picture. And Were you afraid? No. Well, actually, in the beginning, I was afraid to fall in the water and because I thought there were fish. Right. So <laughs> I didn't want to do that. But no, I wasn't afraid. But this face tells me that you're having fun. You, you see that? Mm-hmm. And you didn't mind. You don't have to hold on. You just took the picture. You know, your dad looks a little more scared than you are, actually. He looked a little afraid back there. I so. was actually nervous to... Um, drop the camera in the water. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just did it like out of nowhere and just did it. Looks pretty cool, though. Looks like you guys had a blast in the water. Um, don't see any mosquitoes on the picture, so didn't assume you got bit up by mosquitoes. Nope. Good thing it was in the morning. Oh, so smart dad. Bring, take them in the morning. No mosquitoes. Absolutely. What's your other, what other hobbies you like? Uh, kayaking. Look like you guys have fun. Anything else? You mentioned, did you say skydiving? No. You said skydiving. I said skydiving. We got to do that next, bro. What you think about that? What do you think about that? Oh, you don't like my bro? No? No, okay. bro. So no dude. bros? <laughs> dude, dude. Should I do dude? Dude? Just do, um, yes. Yes, okay. dude, dude, dude. Okay. All right, dude's better than me. So will you go skydiving with me? Probably not. Oh, my. This is the first time she actually made it public and said no to an adventure? You got a big N-O because on skydiving. I don't like heights, mainly. Like, no, not really. I tell you what, though. I know of a place, they have an indoor skydiving where you, it, the air blows from the bottom and you just kind of float up. What about that? Maybe, yeah. Okay, see, so we're meeting halfway. Okay, partner. yeah, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. But, you know, it's so amazing that she says about heights, this and that. You know, I remember where she was so, you know, while she was young, she had no fear for nothing. In fact, Daddy, can I get in the back of your motorci motorcycle? Like, uh, no, yeah. no, no, can't do that, not just yet. So we would go maybe up and down the driveway. But I, do you remember when we, we all three of us went skiing? We went to New York. You remember that time? Yes, I do. Oh, ah, you weren't Actually, afraid yeah. then. No, you, it wasn't. You had Daddy scared, like, <laughs> oh my God, wait, kiss you. The, um, yeah. Spider! <laughs> Slow down something! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> it's because I never saw snow before, although it was fake snow. It was my first time seeing snow, so I wanted to enjoy it. Okay. Did you have fun then? Yes, very oh, much. Awesome, awesome. Did you? Uh, that was a good trip. I remember, I think you had on the pink jacket, right? The thick pink uh -huh. jacket. Yeah, I remember that. Because it was one picture I took. I think you were leaning over the pole backwards or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was a cool picture. I remember that. But I had a ball. Did you have a blast? Yeah. There too was it. Was it really cold though? Was it cold for you? No, not really. Not really. Yeah, I, it, I mean, of course it was cold, but it wasn't like so like cold. Freezing, right? Yeah. Same I actually I liked it when I breathed, and like you could see the it. Smoke. Yeah, that's, so. that was cool. I like that too. I like it too. So, what about your friends in school? How many? I know you're very popular. You have your YouTube. You have uh, Musically. You have, you know, you have your social media. How do your what do your friends think about you in school? Um, usually we just kid around, like we just make up jokes and funny songs. Um, we... You got some jokes for us today? No? <laughs> a funny song? It's, okay, so sometimes the jokes look like, wow, how is that funny? But it's usually just like a personal thing that right. either you make up or, you know, you have. Okay. So. All right, so you like to have fun in school also. Of course, you're making the good grades. You already told me that. But you're a, you're a, a sociable person that loves to have fun and laugh and joke with the kids. Um, who's, your, who's your favorite? Who's your best friend in school? I don't really have best friends. I don't really have best friends, but I can name some. There's Joy. There's Zanissa. Dana Hall. She has a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. There is Janae. Oh. Uh, there's Hannah, Ren, and I think some others if I don't name them, but I can't think right now. Angelina. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Angelina, but Angelina's not in my school. She's just like an outside friend. She used to be in my school, but she left. No boys, huh? No. Good job, Dad. No <laughs> at all. Zero. That's pretty good. I mean, that's, that's cool that you, got, that you have some great friends uh, in school and... Um, wonderful hobbies and let me ask your dad a couple questions dad what do you how do you describe your daughter 
three words. If you, if you had three words to choose from, what would those three words be to describe your daughter who is absolutely beautiful, who is very smart, very social, has mad energy. So what three words would you use to describe your daughter? Intelligent. Can't argue with that. Yeah. Okay. 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 I love it. Calm down. Calm down. Keep it, it low. Adventurous. Obviously, from the pictures. <laughs> a little bit. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. Okay. And very loving. Loving. So loving would, would be the third and most best. Explain that a little bit, Dad. Third. Uh, well, that was the most important. I wait for the best for the last, you know, so. Wait, wait, what do you mean? The third word. The third word, loving, oh, love, your, oh. your love. So oh. he wants me to explain your love to me. So <laughs> Kenta's love is just uh, so unconditional. And I thank the Lord every day for blessing me with such the best gift ever. Uh, Kenta has always um, given me that unconditional love that, you know, us fathers, we need that from our kids. Um, whether we have a significant other or not, you know, a child's love to a parent is priceless. I couldn't agree more. So I'm gonna ask you the same question, Kezia. Three words, now, I've been knowing this guy for a long time before you were born. Um, and um, I, I could describe him in, in a few words, but I'm quite sure to be different from how you describe your dad. So what are, Three words, if you can if you only had three words to describe him, what would they be? Um he what? is funny sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time he's funny. funny. Because he's when you try to make a joke, you're not really funny, but the the point that you tried is funny. Awesome. I got a funny, I got a funny. Yeah. Okay, we got funny for one. And bugs me a lot, so sometimes annoying. Okay. And very, he's an optimist. Explain. Optimist. I want to hear. Ooh. Optimist is a person that always looks on the good side. Like, even the, if there's a bad side, you just try to turn away from that. Yeah. Great. I, I love that. I love that. Um, that speaks volumes. I mean, that, that uh, being able to put it in that context to say that, you know, always trying to turn something from a negative situation to a positive situation. That's, that's great. I don't even think one of my kids would have described me like that. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited about that. That's I'm pretty actually, cool. You know, I'm at a while wow, uh, because, you know, at times that we think, you know, as fathers, we're trying to uh, instill and teach in our kids. And, you know, wow, I paid right. off for her to say, hey, listen, you know, my dad's always going to try to spin it to a positive. That, that lets me know that she watches you more than you think. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, every sure move. Yep. Yeah, every move. So. Um, that was two. Do you have one more? No, I did no, three. That was three. Oh, the, so what was the second one? Annoying. Ah! <laughs> See, he <laughs> annoying. For, he forgot already. I forgot <laughs> already. Well, I must tell you, I'm going to continue to be annoying until I'm gone on the earth. Because I just love to bother her. You know, it's just her different emotions. You know, I just can't live without um, not, a, not a week, not a month, and then no other time that I could actually go without, uh, you know, her unconditional love being annoying and, you know, just feeling her, you know? See, there you go again. There you go again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you maybe two or three other pictures that I just want you to um, talk about, maybe where you guys were, what you think about this picture and um, just how you feel about it. Well, this is one of my favorites. I, this probably is the favorite picture that, I, that I've seen of you two together. Mm, I love that one. Okay, you love that one too. <laughs> Do you remember that at all? You was, you was pretty small. Sort of, not really, not really. Okay. But I get hints, you know. Yeah, I remember when your dad used to look like, they're so young and fresh, you know, now he's just, you know, he's gotten a little old now. That's a pretty cool picture. Well, actually describe that picture for the fans that are watching right now. So, yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, so I was one or two probably, or younger, and my dad was trying to do my hair, trying his best, because my hair was like this, but literally like this, and I was that small. So it hurt, sort of, and then I tried to smile, and that's a comb. 
and a comb, like a regular comb, and this hair does not come out. So. <laughs> so, he was. So let me ask you, and I know that's you. That's kind of young for you to remember exactly. But by looking at this picture, does he look like he know what he was doing? Nope. Nope, not at all, <laughs> right? But then that goes more to what you said about uh, being an optimist. optimist. Right, he's able to take a situation where he doesn't really know. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> but he's trying his best to do it. And we're going to make sure that we put that uh, picture up too for people to see. Now, your hair went from that to... The way it is now, super yeah. long, super curly when you want it to be. Um, so does he still try to do your hair? No, right? That's, uh, no, I've learned to do my own hair just being careful, you know. I don't want this to go away. Right. I did it last night. You didn't do it last night. Did I not put it in a, in a oh, bun? Yeah. But you don't try to like do my hair, you just put it up. I think if I touch it, I did it. <laughs> End of story. That's your dad. That's it. Yeah, he did it. So, another cool pic that I like too is this one. Where were you guys on this picture? Oh, that was actually at my school. Okay. And I think it was either, um, it was some type of party. Like, either it was a drama play mm -hmm. or. A, like a party for ASP, I think. I think it was. So, in that picture, they had like a little 3D taxi. So we just bent down and took a picture. Okay. Does he come to your school often, or is it or during um, uh, events? If you guys have events at the school. Well, sometimes he does. Sometimes he doesn't, because my mom usually goes. Okay. Sometimes he doesn't. Doesn't so. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty but cool. But mainly the, the, the most important events. Gotcha. So, Dad, let me ask you, because I know your profession. I know you are CEO of Daddy Knows, too. I know we collaborated to come up with a uh, wonderful movement, a wonderful app, wonderful business that's helping dads all across the world. Um, and, and with your experience with your daughter, how has that helped help you in creating this app? Uh, it has helped me a lot. Um, you know, as she mentioned before, and going back to the picture, you know, trying to do her hair was so challenging. And, you know, as you could experience her character on how she challenged me on every aspect of raising her. Um, when I collaborated with you, Kevin, and when we saw a huge need uh, for the things that I did not know what to do, and I had to reach out to you or someone else to learn how to do something, right? Uh, I think it was imperative that we provide a mobile app, something with quick access to help other dads do the same. Cool, perfect, perfect. So, Kezia, let me ask you, I know that you know you are involved in a lot that we do here with Daddy Knows too. How do you feel about what your dad is doing with the app, like the whole purpose behind it, um, or maybe just the idea, period? What do you think about Daddy Knows too? I think DKT is actually a great idea because there are other dads out there that need to know like what to do in situations right. so that's yeah do you let me, and since we were on school do you do you see a lot of dads involved in coming into the school maybe or be as involved as your father is no uh, not with your really. friends right not really and, I, and that's why it's so important for the app because we got to get more dads involved to be there and to do things and be adventurous like you guys are um so is there anything else that you guys want to say to the DKT world as we wrap up? Um, I, I've had a great time with you guys. I know you guys beyond the camera. So I just, I, I'm well, always happy to see y'all. One face. of the things I wanted to share is just that, you know, we have to encourage other fathers to do the same. Express their emotions towards their kids publicly. Because how I am with my daughter and I know how you are with your daughter, and there's a whole bunch of men out there that, that are same with their daughters or sons, um, it's not exposed. And then we find ourselves having to always prove ourselves that we are involved, that we are not absent from our child's lives. And, you know, when, we, when there's hidden agendas out there that arise up, and then it puts the father in a position where he's portrayed as an absent father, he now has to prove himself. So that's part of the mission that what 
you know we wanted to do i agree 100 percent i um my father passed away when I was four years old, so I didn't have an opportunity to really be raised with my dad and a lot of great things I see you guys do. I'm always happy to see every day that you're with her and she's with you and great things you guys are doing. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. And I try to push that same thing over to my daughters, have as much fun when I can, how I can <clears throat> with them. So um, I just wanted to say thumbs up to you guys and um, yeah, keep doing a great job, man. Keep being a great kid and keep being a great dad. And you guys will be back on the Daddy Knows 2 DKT show. Thank you. Hey, thank you guys for having us on the show. Uh, hopefully we will see you soon in these chairs and these positions. So, woohoo! DKT out. <laughs> Give the woo-wee. Woo-wee! Okay. That, that's how we'll we take that. Yeah.